Hi guys, my name's Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain and welcome back. Today I wanted to start doing my videos on um, the the four types of um, kind of basic disc per personality pattern. Uh, considering I did the, the overview and like the brief history of um, uh, before, now I wanted to go into the breakdown. And so I figured we'd start off with D, we'll just go through them in order. And D is the uh, the pattern or the style or the, the, the type, however you want to describe it, that is both an active, therefore, I mean, some people say extroverted, some people say active, I prefer active, uh, and task-focused pattern. And uh, what what people tend to see in, in regards to the behaviours from this is they are, are very motivated by achieving a result, by the success or, or by the competing and winning uh, aspect. Um, they tend to to work more towards accepting challenges and taking on actions and achieving um, results I, you know they they've got their goal they need to achieve the result there's no two ways about it it has to happen um, and uh, yeah as a result they, they can be um, quite direct and demanding in in what they what they say quite driven and, and kind of forceful uh, but they and they tend to work quite fast because it's just like there's this need there's this push to get to that goal because the result is a, is the only thing that matters. Unfortunately, this does sometimes mean that they cut corners. Um, but uh, you know it's it's still very much a case of of what they see the result or the success being because if if part of the result or the success is having part of me is having the best possible. Um, option or best possible result or whatever else then there's a better chance that they will follow whatever path is required to get that best result they will just push with it an awful lot faster um, and then you know they there there's there's a downside to it as well some of the fears and some of the, the things that get to those people most are uh, being seen or, or feeling vulnerable being taken advantage of um, and, and like uh, failure, failure is a big thing. Um, and then they they very much value things like concrete results, uh, personal freedom, taking on challenges instead of uh, being held back and stopped by things. They like to keep moving, they like to be active, they like to force their way forward. Um, and as a result, kind of the, the, the things that they tend to push towards tend to be things like um, controlling their environments and and being independent looking for new opportunities and and kind of pushing forward to goals especially goals that, that allow them a leg up in competition in competition you know in challenges with people um and and as a result you know they they have these these potential shortcomings of um you know they may know what they want and they may know where they're going with it and they may charge at it to get it done but as a result you know there are lots of people around who are not that way inclined and as a result it takes an awful lot more energy and an awful lot more concentration for these people to um, to uh, be a little bit more sensitive to open themselves up a little bit more um, to uh, take more time to to pay attention to detail and to uh, do things like show patience and, and relax and and um, allow other people who are not working at the same speed or not working as efficiently or as effectively as they feel they are, um, you know, giving those people the time. And, um, you know, my within my um, personal makeup, maybe after I've done these these four videos, um, then I'll, I'll, I've got my own profile uh, over in a, a folder over there which I will uh, maybe go through with you guys, um, although uh, that might take some doing, so I'll have to think about that. But um, as, as someone who has a very high D, um, I, can, I can speak as, as you know, on this a little bit, and it's, it's a case of, it, it, a lot of it comes down to framing, because um, you know, when, when there was a time when I first started in management where this was a good description of me, where I'd charge at things, I would be impatient if people, you know, if, if people weren't doing the job well enough or if I knew they wouldn't uh, to one extent or another within the time frame that I wanted, I would just do it myself because it was easier and more effective and, and these people were just getting in the way. Um, 
and I would I would try for things uh, in regards to opportunities, and I liked trying to be as independent and as focused on just doing my thing as possible. And um, you know, obviously that did that didn't necessarily work so well with other people. Um, you know, especially other people in the management team who saw me charging at things and getting shit done, potentially quite threatening, or as quite threatening things, because they were far less active in their approach. Um, but as a result, you know, you can imagine this individual um, in caricature as a very, very high D being, um, well, it's, it's Donald Trump. It's some big... Uh, boisterous manager type who who doesn't care about um, the the how you get it done or who you need to step on to do it or whatever else they just want it done and you know as has come out again not you know fairly recently that the Donald Trump is absolutely terrified of things like vulnerability you know this very much outlines him he's terrified of being seen as weak he's terrified of 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 that kind of thing and so he will screw people over or he will make demands of people or he will, he will squash them and be more forceful with them purely so that he isn't in that space um, and you know he looks to control his audience and all that kind of thing he's a, he's a very big caricature but the thing is you know as said these people are usually what you would see as leaders you know they, they will um, find a thing and they will drive towards it and they can either take people with them or they can't you know, or they won't. It, it, it's entirely up to them, and it's entirely what they value. In my particular instance, after I got used to it, and after I started working things out for myself in regards to management and the way that I was working, my high D, my drive to do things, my my active approach to just charging at stuff and getting it done, um, often led people because of the way that I put it across, or because of the way that I worked with them. Um, and the fact that I was at times when someone really had a problem, not when someone was just complaining for the sake of complaining, but when they actually had a problem, you know, part of the success, that part of my view of success was having a strong team. And as a result, yes, it was harder for me to maybe slow down, um, even if I was being fairly empathic and, and trying to sympathise and empathise with those people, um, as is my want anyway. But considering... Um, that it was part of achieving the goal it made it easier for me to then sit down and slow down and try and look after that person and try and find out what the problem is and how I could help them and then you know in regards to those issues when it was a case of that person needed something from me to help solve a problem then I was able to re-engage and charge at that problem to get it done to sort them out so that then they could help me charge at the rest of the problems and get it done and it, it, it's al it allowed for um, a, a very um, effective and, and at times positive and, and energetic kind of environment around me and around the things that I was doing. And it got people to, to come, come, come in on the challenge with me and try and fight, fight against whatever it was that was slowing us down. Um, but obviously, as said, there are those that don't have that and they're very much more willing to just step on people um, to get wherever they need to go but these people very easy to see as leaders very easy to see in that, that space um, but again they can't be good leaders they can't be effective and strong and have people follow them because you're not a leader if you're not being followed if you're not being um, if you're not leading people then um, you know it, it's a case of if 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 this describes you in any way shape or form then you know it's it's something to take into consideration that maybe part of the goal needs to be maintaining the people because uh, around you that are helping you because if you're not helping maintain those individuals and and so on and so forth then um, you know that it's it's essentially like um, pushing away any any kind of help or any tools or anything like that when you're trying to fix a car when you're trying to achieve anything yeah if you don't have the tools if you don't have the resources if you don't have the people around you to help you then there's a good chance you're not going to get to the thing that you want most so you know just a little bit of reframing there but as you can see this is why d stands for dominance it's very much a focus on getting to a place taking over um, taking on a challenge controlling the environment and working to to 
impose yourself on it, uh, both in a good way and sometimes a bad way. Um, but yeah, let me know. Does this sound like you guys at all? Because uh, this is very, this is to a greater extent or, or me. Um, so uh, yeah, but tell tell me, are, are you guys part of this group? Is this part of the area that you guys um, kind of feel you work within? Um, have you ever had leaders or, or managers or or friends that were like this at all? You know, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and if you found this first video particularly uh, useful or insightful or just fun to, to watch, then please drop me a like and otherwise subscribe for more, especially the next three videos in regards to the disc types. Um, but yeah, otherwise take care guys.